In today's session, we are going to define binary numbers, octal numbers and hexadecimal numbers. We will learn about these number systems and we will also try to convert these numbers from one number system to another number system. We will learn the process of converting the numbers from one number system to any other number system. So first of all, what is the number system? What are the different types of number systems that we have and how do we define them? The first and foremost type of the number system is the binary numbers. Binary numbers are the combination of digits 0 and 1 only. These numbers use only these two digits and the combination of these uh, digits would define the value of the number. We will talk about this. Then we have decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are the combinations of these digits which are from 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These 10 numbers collectively form the group of decimal numbers and the different combinations define the different values of numbers. So binary number has base 2 because we are using only 2 digits here and decimal numbers have base 10 because we are using 10 digits here to form any number which can have any value but we will be using these 10 digits only. So the base is uh, defined by the number of digits that we are using to define the character set of this particular number system. So octal number we have the range from 0 to 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Octal numbers are basically the combination of 8 numbers so the base is 8. And the, this character set defines the range of the octal numbers and then we form, use these numbers to form the different numbers in the octal number system. And in the hexadecimal numbers we have the range from 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then we use the characters from the alphabets. So A, B, C, D, E and F and then we start from 10 and 11. Hexadecimal consists of the 16 digits and that includes the characters also. So basically we use these 16, a combination of these numbers and characters to form different hexadecimal numbers. These are the types of codes that we generally see in our programming. So we use these codes to form any hexadecimal number and the value can always differ, uh, you know, based on the combination of the numbers that we are using. Now we will be talking about the conversion, how to convert one form of number to another form. So first of all, let's see how to convert decimal number to a binary number. As we know, decimal number could be anything, uh, you know, that uses the digits from 0 to 9 and the binary number consists only of 1 and 0. So any number of occurrences of 1 and 0 in a manner, you know, sometimes 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So any, any combination that could be a different number when it comes to the decimal number. So each and every, every value. And I must share here that uh, every number would be having a particular binary representation also, its decimal representation also, its hexadecimal representation also and the octal representation also. It is not that we would not be able to define a particular number in some other format. It is possible and every number would have a unique value also. No two values would be repeated for a different number. Every number would have a unique value in a particular number system. So decimal, if if we talk about the decimal number 9, it is represented as simple 9 in the decimal uh, number system, then in binary it would have a different value, we will convert it just now to understand how it is converted and what value it would be and then in a hexadecimal representation it would have another different unique value and when converted back to decimal number we would always get 9. So there would be no confusion in you know conversion and there would be no um, mismatch and there would be no uh, overriding of the sets when it comes to the unique numbers. So when we start converting uh, a number from decimal to binary, what do we do? We divide the decimal number by 2. Why we are dividing it by 2? Because the binary conversion, binary number system is of base 2. We use only 2 digits here. So we start dividing it by 2. So we have taken the number 9, we start dividing it by 2. We take the remainder, not the multiplier, you know. 
as we know first of all uh, to divide 9 by 2 we will multiply it by 4 we will uh, get 8 and then the remainder would be 1 so we will take the remainder here we will not bother about uh, you know what number we use to multiply and anything we will only start collecting the remainders in every step so we will start recording our remainders on a side and then repeat until the decimal number cannot be divided anymore so the collection of remainders that we get so with these bits record them in a order from right to left and that will be the number in base 2 because we are talking about binary let's see the example here so if we convert the 9 now you see a representation here what does it mean 9 is written inside brackets and then we have written 10 on the right side as a suffix and when we write it in the binary form which is 1001 we have written it in the bracket with the suffix the right side base which is 2 so 10 represents the decimal number whenever we see 10 written here you know outside the bracket as a suffix this is called base if 10 is written in the base we understand that this is the decimal representation of a particular number when it is written as 2 then we understand that this is the binary representation of any number similarly if we write 8 then it means the number is the octal number and if we write 16 here then it means that we are talking about the hexadecimal number so first of all as we saw that 9 when it we divided by 2 the remainder in the first case is 1 then it is 0 then again it is 0 and then it is 1 and then it cannot be divided further anymore so the binary number conversion of 9 would be 1001 and that is how it is represented next we will see decimal to octal conversion now the conversion is again same here instead of the number that we used to divide would be 8 instead of 2 that we used in the previous conversion why because here we are trying to get the octal number now for the octal number we have to use 8 to divide the actual number the number in the decimal form to get the octal form of this number so steps for conversion would be same uh, it would be like first of all you divide the decimal number by 8 then you take the remainder and record it on the side then you repeat this process until the decimal number cannot be divided anymore and then again with the bits record them in order from right to left as that will be in the number of the base 8 similarly when you try to convert a decimal number into the hexadecimal number then you will be using the same method instead of dividing by 8 or 2 you would be now dividing by 16 so steps to convert a decimal number to hexadecimal number would be divide the decimal number by 16 then take the remainder and record it on the side you repeat this process until the de decimal number cannot be divided anymore and then with these bits you record them in order from right to left as that number will be the number in base 16 so that is how we convert these numbers from one form to another form now how to convert these number back to the decimal form now we see that uh, decimal numbers are those numbers that we are familiar with first of all what is the need why are we doing all this you know that the computer systems do not understand our languages do not understand our data system our formats of number that we use or uh, the way we talk in uh, you know our routine life the computer systems do not understand that and for any kind of arithmetic calculations or any conversions for any process that we have to do in our computer you know if we have to obtain an output we have to make this system understand uh, what we are talking about in its own language so these are the different types of number systems that a computer uses to you know understand what the input is given to it and how do they have to perform the operations on these numbers to get the desired output so the computer understands these formats and we will be talking about the standard languages also in a while you know the the whole character set which is which it is called uh, for a computer system to understand what language does it understand so that is why we are talking about these numbers but for a human it is not easy to remember the 
binary representation or octal representation or the hexadecimal representation of any number. The digits, the decimal representation we always remember, it is on our tips, we know that you know um, this is the basic counting that we have learnt uh, from our childhood and we have to count anything using the decimal uh, number system only. And after 9 also it is combined, the same digits are combined. See basically the decimal number system consists of digits from 0 to 9 and these digits are again used to form the higher numbers. But the character set would be 0 to 9 only that is why it is really easy to remember. But in the binary and uh, uh, octal form and the hexadecimal form, although the character set is defined, we can al always learn the character set, we can always learn the range of the, uh, you know, character set that we are using to um, define the numbers in these particular number systems. But it would be difficult for us to remember the actual code, the actual representation of any number because as you have just seen 9 is written as 1001. So in the normal decimal number form, the regular counting that we use that means a different digit for us, that means a different number. 1001 for us is 1001. So we would confuse it with the decimal number system when we talk about the binary uh, system and when we go further to the octal number systems and hexadecimal systems, these contains the codes as well because the hexadecimal numbers if you will see that would consist of a um, you know whole code. It starts with x, 1, 0, 2, something, you know, combination of different uh, um, numbers, digits and characters that we have just seen, the range of the hexadecimal number. So it would be quite difficult for us to, you know, remember all that. So that is why we only use the decimal system in our day-to-day -day life. But this conversion is required for the system and that is done internally. All the algos and all the programs are written for the system to convert these in their own desired format. But then when it has to get back to us, we need to understand that what is this particular number. So if we have to work on uh, the computer system and especially the um, you know engineers who have uh, created uh, these systems and who have written the logic to convert these numbers from the different type of number systems they need to understand and for us because we are using it we also need to understand at least if not remember all of them you know we need to understand what is the logic of converting from one number system to another number system and how do we convert it, the process and how do we get another form of the number. So when we are trying to convert these formats back into the decimal type, we are only focusing here about the conversion from decimal to another number systems and from other number systems to decimal number system. Why? Because we as humans understand only the decimal number system. We do not frequently use the other number systems but again there are different methods to convert other forms into other forms also like binary to octal, octal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to binary, all those things are possible. But here we are only discussing about decimal to another number system and from another number system back to decimal. So now we will be talking about binary to decimal conversion. So let us try to convert binary number 1000 into a decimal number and see what happens. How this conversion is done? We take the every digit of the binary number. Let me tell you here that the first digit is called the highest significant digit and the last digit is called the least significant digit of a binary number. So we will talk about this, somewhere it will be required but as of now we will start from left to right when we are trying to do a conversion. We will start from left. Now because binary number is of base 2. What we are doing here, we will take the first digit, we will multiply it with 2 raised to the power number of digits in this the binary number after the particular digit we are taking. So number of remaining digits. This complete uh, uh, number that we are taking in the binary example is 1000. So it is a 4 digit number we will subtract 1, we will start with the power 3. So we are, as of now we are using 1, the first digit of this number. So we will multiply 1 by 2 raised to power 3. Then what will we do? We will multiply the next digit which 
which is 0. We will multiply it with 2 raised to power 2 because now only 2 digits are remaining. Then we will take the third digit which is 0 again. We will multiply it by 2 raised to the power 1 because now 1 digit is remaining. And then we will take the last digit which is 0 again and we will multiply it by 2 raised to the power 0. Now we will add all of these products that we have got. So the formula that you see on your screen is 1 into 2 raised to power 3. Then we are adding 0 which is the second digit by which is multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2. Then we are adding the third digit multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 and then we are adding the last digit which is the fourth digit multiplied by 2 raised to power 0. And now we will calculate it as the simple mathematical arithmetic calculation. So 1 is 1, 2 raised to the power 3 comes out to be 8. Then we add 0 into 4 which was 2 raised to power 2. Then we add 0 into 2 raised to power 1 which is 2. And then we add 0 into 1, 2 raised to power 0 is 1, anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So we multiply these first using the board mass rule and then we add. So what it comes to be 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 and that comes out to be 8. So binary to decimal conversion, the binary number 1000, 1000 is equal to the decimal number 8. Now as we have seen the conversion of uh, you know uh, decimal number 9 to the binary number we have just learnt in our previous example and we saw that it was 1001 when you know uh, 9 was converted to the binary number. Here also if you see if it was 1 in the last uh, place which was the least significant uh, digit 1 multiplied by 1 would have been 1. So instead of 8 plus 0 plus 0 we will be doing 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. So then it would come out to be 9. So the conversion is simple, the method is simple, but in our human language, we are easily using the decimal number system. But if you see the conversion here is very, very easy to learn. And once you start uh, doing it, you will be very, um, you know, comfortable doing it. And it is very easy to convert and understand the concept behind these different number systems. Now let's see how to convert a octal number to the decimal number. Now again we will take the same example of the number 1000 you know in the octal form. Now this number is in the octal form. Now don't get confused by the value of this number you know in the octal form 1000 would be different. Previously we learnt about the binary form. So it was different, it was having a different value in the binary form. But in the octal representation 1000 would be having a different value. Let's try to find what value does this hold in the octal number system. So how do we convert 1000 from the octal number system to decimal? The method would be again same but we will only multiply it by 8 raised to the powers that we have done in the previous example. So instead of using 2 now we will use 8. So first of all the octal representation of number is 1000 and the 8 written in the base and then how do we convert it? We take the first digit which is 1, we multiply it by 8 raised to the power the number of the digits left in the actual number. So here it is a 4 digit number, after 1, 3 digits are remaining. So we would be raise this 8 to the power 3. Then what will we add? Similarly in the previous method we have seen, we will add 0 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 2 because now 2 digits are remaining. Then we will add 0 multiplied by 8 to the power 1 and then 0 multiplied by 8 to the power 0. Now 8 cube is 512. So in the first multiplication we will get 1 multiplied by 512. Then we will add 0 into 64, 8 raised to the power 2 is 64, 8 raised to the power 1 is 8 only. So we will add 0 into 8 and in the last 8 raised to the power 0 is 1. So what we will add? 0 into 1. Again we will multiply first, all of the multiplications will be done. So 512 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 because anything multiplied by 0 would become 0. And now when we add all these things the output would be 512. So the 
decimal number 512 has the octal representation 1000 when we convert the octal number 1000 into decimal number we get 512 now you have seen that 1000 is a valid octal number also 1000 is a valid decimal number also 1000 is a valid hexadecimal number also 1000 is a valid binary number also but it holds a different value in each number system so instead of getting confused with the values you just have to convert it from the one form to another to get the actual value and when we talk when we say actual value what does it mean it means the decimal value of any number system again we are taking the decimal number system as primary because we do understand that better so the value when we talk about it comes to the decimal number value only now let's see the hexadecimal to decimal number conversion now for the hexadecimal number example also we will be taking 1000 and we will try to convert 1000 into decimal number but 1000 as a hexadecimal number so what we will do we will write 1000 to the base 16 and using the exactly same method we will multiply 1 by 16 raised to the power 3 why 16 because hexadecimal is a base 16 number system we will multiply 16 to the power 3 because 3 digits are remaining we have taken the 4 digit example only then we will multiply the next digit which is 0 we will multiply it with 16 raised to the power 2 then the third digit which is 0 again we will multiply it by 16 raised to the power 1 and then we will multiply the last digit which is 0 again with 16 raised to the power 0 and we will add all these so first comes to be 1 into 4096 16 raised to the power 3 is 4096 then we will add 0 into 256 which is 16 raised to the power 2 then we will add 0 into 16 and then we will add 0 into 1 so what it comes out to be it is 4096 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 so the output would be 4096 now you have seen that 1000 was a valid number in all these different number systems but when we converted it to it back to the decimal number it was always a different value so in binary 1000 represents 8 in octal number system 1000 represents 512 and in the hexadecimal number system 1000 the value of 1000 is 4096 now as this is a and 1000 as you know it is a valid number in the uh, decimal number system also in the character set we will not call it a valid number because it uses these two digits which is 1 and 0 but it has a unique and valid value in decimal number system also so in all these four number systems that we have learnt and talked about today you have seen that uh, this number 1000 for example and we have just taken this as an example you can take any other number and you can try it to convert you know it to the different forms take a number uh, any number from the decimal number system convert it to the different uh, other number systems take any number from other number system convert it back to the decimal number system you will start you know enjoying these process and you will learn it it is very very easy and you will see that every number holds a unique value you know when it comes to a different number system now there is another thing that we use in this number system which is ones complement and twos complement this is a useful concept when it comes to the calculation of the numbers uh, this is the primary concept and then we will be talking about the gates you know when the digital circuits are made these are made in a manner that are used to perform the calculations when you know combined together and assigned uh, you know in a particular computer system so these use different types of calculation methods and then these uh, digital circuits give us the output number so first of all what is the ones complement ones complement of a binary number so ones complement is valid in the binary number system and what it does is it can be achieved by changing all the zeros to one and ones to zeros this word complement in a mathematical normal system also that what is the complement complement is what do we need 
to make it one. Com in simple language, what does it mean is complementary numbers as you have seen. So, complement is anything that we need to make a particular digit one. Now, the binary number is a combination of the digits zero and one only. So, we understand that if it is zero and we have to make it one, we need one. And if it is one already, and we have to make it one only, but it is one already, so we do not need anything, we need a zero only to make it one. So, what do we add to this number to make it one is called a ones complement. So, it is simply changing zero to one and one to zero because it is zero, if it is zero, we need one to make it one and if it is one already, we need zero to make it one. So, it is simple. So, ones complement is changing zeros to the one and ones to the zeros. What is twos complement? For twos complement, first of all, simply calculate the ones complement and then add one. When we add one to any number in decimal number system, what happens? It gets added in the last. Similarly, in binary number also, what happens? You define uh, beforehand that where are you going to add it because binary number system addition is different than the normal addition in the decimal number system. What happens in the addition of binary numbers? 1 and 1 would become, you know, different combinations are there when we will talk about the gates, we will see that if we are using the AND operation, there are different kind of operations, you know, sometimes 1 and 1 would make 1, sometimes 1 and 1 would make 0, there are different types of additions and, uh, you know, systems when we, when it comes to the calculation. But for now, what we will see here, we will add 1 into the least significant bit. Least significant bit is the rightmost bit in the uh, binary number system. So, when you add 1 to the last digit, last significant bit of the uh, binary number, it becomes the 2's complement. So, first of all, find out the 1's complement and then in the 1's complement, take the least significant bit which is, which is the last digit and add 1 to it, it will give you the seconds complement. So, these are the two, you know, important complements that we try to find out when it comes to the calculation in binary number system. So, that is all about the binary logic. I hope you were able to understand it. Thank you so much.